Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy A Town podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive. And Jonas, uh, we are doing a freaking podcast. TNT D I N O M I D H T E. Yeah, usually you mess up the first one. I know. Dude. And this time you messed up the second one because I got comfortable. Ah, oh, dude, that's cool. I put my, you know, got my best ass in the best seat <laughs> best ass in the best seat yeah I best like ass in the building yep. wow you you got a better ass than mine i don't want to compare asses i'm good yeah yeah so uh well thank you so Scared. much for joining us today on the crazy town podcast wherever you're joining us at whether it's on youtube for uh crazy town media and you can subscribe there or you know spotify itunes all that place leave a review tell us what you hate about the show this guy, he's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every single day at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Central, AM, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T, underscore crazy town. Come and hang out with your boy live. Right, exactly. So, uh, what's new in your world, man? Jonas, I need some pussy. <laughs> Can I say that? Wow. <laughs> wow. So, I've hit up, I've hit up Tinder. Uh, yeah? Have you? No. This is a lie. But we were talking about it, and I was trying to segue it in there. Yeah, dude. So I want to talk about Tinder. Throw out some vagina jokes at the beginning of the podcast, dude. Jonas, you, look, they wanted me, they told me that PC Dynamite wasn't working. They said, (laughs) Dynamite, you can't be PC. You can't be PC. You got to stop. We don't like it. So then I start bringing the sauce. I bring the sauce. I throw it in the pot. I'm cooking it up. I season the son of a bitch. And now you're mad because it's too spicy. (laughs) You put too much jalapeno in there. No, it was a good amount of jalapeno. I'm no, fine with whatever you No, need. anyway, tender girls, Jonas, what do you think? Uh, you know, I mean, during a pandemic, the best thing you try to do is have a random hookup. I... <laughs> All right, see, now that that is the common misconception for Tinder. But yeah, I mean, even Tinder girls are, you know. Are what? You know, C19 positive? <laughs> 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 You're making a generalization for their culture, Jonas. Yeah, Tender uh, culture should not be trivialized. Well, what do you think? Um, I think this is the best thing that could happen for, for a site like that because it'll prevent people from doing the casual hookup part and maybe, you know, even spark some new converse, conversation because you got to start out with a conversation. You're not just going to be like, I'm horny. Uh, let me go and get an STD and COVID-19. I can't do that. That's not but, the nut. But here's the thing. I don't think that's entirely true. There are still people that will yes. just hook up like just the, like like it's a normal Tuesday. That is true. But Jonas, what you don't remember is that I'm a Tinder motherfucker. I fucked girls on Tinder before. Not a bunch. I'm not a sexual deviant. I don't want you thinking that at home. You're thinking it right now. Stop it. You do, you've done it too. I I've, don't think I've, I've. I'm trying to think if I've ever. You ever fucked a girl off of a dating website at all? Of well, I mean, I've had. I mean, I've met people. Okay, off dating man. But like, the but like Tinder. Tinder originally oh. came out with a different mindset. You know what I mean? It's, but I'm trying to think if I ever have went on a date or hooked up with someone from Tinder. No. I don't think from Tinder itself. I don't think so. Well, okay. But- I usually like. I usually will ha- here's here's what normally happens with me on Tinder. I usually get. I'll, I'll jump on Tinder. I'll hang out a couple days. I'll like. I'll swipe some people, and then I'm just like, I need to get off this, and I delete my account. That happens to me almost every fucking time. Okay. I mean, and that that's fine, but I I, I still feel like a lot of people out there through a dating web a site and or app, whatever it may be, which is all that Tinder is, it just has a negative connotation to it. So we've we, a lot of us have fucked people off of apps and or sites. Oh yeah, well I mean online. I mean, I feel yeah. like the biggest failing is when that person tosses their number out too quick, or they go on that first initial date, and there's just like immediate sexual attraction. Both of you are teaming. With this deterrent of what is happening currently in the atmosphere, I ain't out there looking for a Tinder chick, and I fuck girls off a of Tinder before. So I'm living evidence and therefore proof that there's reservation from Tinder. And if anything, I've gone on Tinder, I've looked at a few people, but all I would do is talk. That's all I'm going to do. Right, right, right. And that's, right, right. that's good well, for relationship well, builder, a foundation. I think, I think you and I are different is because we, because no no yes I, I, this is going somewhere i'm black you're white that, like uh 
Now, you're up. sexy. I'm average. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, How do you like that? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, no, like I, but like we both like to have. Uh, we both like when we're talking to like a woman. We both like them to be able to have like an intellectual conversation. Facts. So like. Some people literally are like, all they care about is like, you are attractive enough for me to put my thing inside you. Oh, well. And like, so like, but us being like, oh, well, if I could talk to someone and like, they can spark my intelligence, like hit my intelligence meter, then I'm like, oh, this person's pretty cool. Like I can have a conversation with them, blah, blah, blah. Well, some people are just like, I don't give a shit what you have to say. I just want to fuck you. All right. Well, that doesn't make me holier than thou because if a bitch is hot, Jonas, I'm sorry. If a female is hot, Jonas, and she want, and she's dumb as a rock, yo, <laughs> yo, I've I've definitely been with a couple B pluses, Jonas, that didn't have nothing going on, and it, she was a walnut. <laughs> Oh, walnut? Yes. What is, what's the, is there, exactly. is there a euphemism behind that? No, or? she was a fucking walnut, you know, <laughs> <laughs> all right, but sexiest walnut I've ever been with. Gotcha. <laughs> and you've been, you've been with a sexy walnut. I guess I'm just wal- not the walnut type, You've dude. been with a sexy walnut. I have not, I Jonas. Have I? You've been with a sexy <laughs> walnut. <laughs> 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 Fair, I guess. <laughs> a walnut. <laughs> she might have been a cashew, okay? A cashew. <laughs> but she... No, but uh, no, but dude, like, it's it's um, it's interesting because it's like it's totally changed. Because I mean, like, Tinder does have the uh, the the it has the uh, uh reputation of being a hookup site. It has or, a stigma. Well, well, here's the other thing about Tinder, dude. Like, a lot of these other sites, like OK Cupid, things like that. There is a full profile. Tinder is like put up your sexiest thirst trap pictures you have and then you get 500 words to describe yourself and you don't you have to click a special spot to even see what the person wrote it literally it's like literally all picture based okay so it's it's purely set up to be a lustful thirst trap wow see but that that's not tinder's fault tinder just said put your picture up there they didn't tell you what pictures to put up there people did what they did to it but you it's in yourself though if you have the i'm not blaming 4chan's website for the things they put on 4chan the people who put (laughs) the shit on 4chan that are the the problem like if i swiped right and i could and she just had her leg spread then yes jonas i'd be like all right the site is problematic <laughs> but they take those pictures down you can't just put a, a dick pic up there a dicture is that what they call them? <laughs> new hype jonas is dick-cher. that the new term it, it is now quit sending me dictures <laughs> <laughs> you can't just slap a dicture up there okay say. and I- another thing jonas i'm sorry on the same subject i've learned one thing about wearing masks what's that is that you cannot tell if a chick is hot or not just because she's wearing a mask. Everything that's ugly about a person, I think, is, like, below the eyes. <laughs> wow. Hot take. <laughs> Everything ugly about them is below the I think that. it is, man. I think it's all about, like, cheek definition and jawline and, like, well, nasal you, well, but density. Here's the thing. It, it, right now, it doesn't matter because we ain't out there trying to holler at anybody when you're out the grocery no, store anyway. I'm so, it was just an observation. Oh. I was just observating well, the fact that... What do they think about us? Uh, what do you mean? I'm saying period. I said people. I didn't say women. Oh. Why do you think I'm a misogynist? See? I toss a little too much celery, and now you're like, hey, there's too much celery in this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't know you were a celery guy. Yeah, guy. yeah. I was talking about the p- podcast pot. Now, we can move on now, Jonas. What do you got? <laughs> but can we? <laughs> After you th- throwing jalapenos and celery into the podcast, yeah, no, what do you want to add to it? What do you got? What you uh, got? I'll add some happiness. No. Okay, I like happy. So they have finally created a glove that you wear in your hand because, <laughs> as, as opposed to all the other parts of the body, Good. that you wear a glove. I'm afraid it's one of those foot gloves. <laughs> Socks? <laughs> Are socks foot gloves? They're Prove foot me wrong. Mitten, foot mittens, maybe. No, they're gloves because you're... Oh, wait, no. They're, yeah, Unless they're you mitten. get the toe socks. Yeah, yeah. That's a foot glove. Yeah. <laughs> foot gloves. Prove me, what's that say? I, I, I wear foot gloves. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Change my mind or whatever that guy did in the park. Yeah. So, um, but no, this is actually very cool. The University of California has created a glove, and you actually wear them on both hands. 
and it uh they have it's like a stretchable uh connecting yarns that connect like from the fingers into like a module in the center of your hand <laughs> anywhere on both hands iron and man what iron man no i okay. wish all right that would be cool but it what it does is it can translate sign language in real time to a app on your phone that will that will Whatever you're, it, it registers all your finger movements and it, it real time translates sign language for a and, person who and it speaks speak. for you. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, so like if you're if you have to communicate with someone who's deaf and use a sign language, um, and I don't know what would be really cool is if you could type in something and it moved their hands so they could know what you were saying, but yeah. it, does, it doesn't reverse engineer yeah it but it, it lets you allow it lets them to communicate with you but it doesn't really allow you to communicate with them yeah um, i mean a, a lot of a lot of people who are deaf have become you, you well you you kind of have to become proficient at lip reading to yeah some yeah and I, and I know i know a girl um who she's not completely deaf mm. and she but she's like she's like when i'm in social situations she's like i really read lips most of the time because I have such a hard time hearing. Um, mm. And she's also said that, you know, wearing masks has been a huge problem for her because. Yeah. Yeah. Cause how the hell are you supposed to read a lip if you can't see it? Really? That's interesting. And I've actually seen masks that people have made that the center of the mask is like, instead of it being cloth, it's a um, see-through like hard, pla not hard plastic, but like yeah. a, so you can see their lips moving still. Yeah. And then it's for, it's huh. to help people help deaf people who can read lips. I did not. Wow. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, but that's cool. That's yeah. really cool. I mean, like it's, uh, but you know, what I mean, and it's something that we don't think about because it's such a, it's a small percentage of the population to yeah. like, and you don't, and, and like when you're not deaf, you don't think that some people, you don't even know if they're out there are purely reading your lips. That is very true. You know, you could be talking to someone and they, and they, you know, and they might not be legally deaf, but they, man. they're like, I have no idea what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a really cool invention, Jonas. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, dude, I love I mean, technology is, is definitely coming up, man. When I can communicate with my dog, that'll be the business. That's what people need to, uh, need to work on is like figuring out a way to, to like communicate with a pet. Yeah. Did but, you see the, th the thing on Reddit where you're like this dog uses a series of buttons to communicate with his owner <laughs> and the dog like... <laughs> I don't know if it was just like a sizzle reel, which it very well could, but the dog walks up to a, a a button and he taps it and it says home. And he's like, that's right, we're home. And the dog keeps tapping home because they just like came in the house. And then the dog walks over and he taps, I love you. And then he taps a button that says mom. And the fucking lady starts crying and shit. I'm like, <laughs> you know, now that I'm talking about it, that was some bullshit, you know, it's just, <laughs> was just two scenes. Yeah, they're just they're just letting the they're like they just want they're the like, dog. This dog and this one, you get a treat. Yeah, right. Well, they have. I've seen something like that where it's like they it's like training them to ask for food or something. Like it's like it's like it's by their yeah. bowl, and if their bowl's empty, they can like hit like a or I don't know. I've seen something online. Yeah, about and it that and that's that's the thing is that I don't know if the animal really understands all of that or if it's just a Pavlovian response. So that's Pavlov. Well, it's like yeah, it's like you hit you hit this button, and all of a sudden food appears mm -hmm. in your bowl. You're like you start learning that like if I hit that button, food will appear in my bowl. Like whether you whether you're smart or dumb or whatever, you could I think you can recognize yeah. like <laughs> I do this and I get food. Yeah, or I do this and you give me pets right yeah exactly <laughs> if i say i love you mom you come and hug me i, I could go for a hug yeah, right <laughs> yeah exactly yeah it's uh it, it would be interesting though because it's like the problem is like i don't know if we'll ever get there because we don't have it's like how do you know that the it's like how do you you don't even know where to start in the thought process and the brain chemistry of the animal to be able to like get their thoughts out of their head. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's not like what, like, you know, a human understand can understand English, hmm. whether you're deaf, whether you're whatever, but like, you don't know what it's like, what does a dog speak? What does a dog yeah. understand? How, how thorough are their thought processes? Do, can they only understand like food now or can they understand full sentence type structure? I got into a huge argument with a lady because of a hot take I had that her dog didn't love her. Oh. <laughs> I, I was like, your dog you does not love you. I They're, remember you telling me. I was this. like, their brains are complex for them to feel love. And then she was like, what do you know? He loves me. And I'm like, your dog knows you feed his ass. If you take that dog, put him with another family, guess what? He'll love them. Just his love is for sale. 
<laughs> his love is for sale. You feed him, I love you. Thank you. Yeah, but but what about those stories they see of yeah. like where like uh you know like the guy in the military has been gone forever and they have the video like the the guy comes home and he hasn't been there for four two years yeah. and his dog literally loses his shit <laughs> just at the sight of him and, and it's then, been years. And then in the comments you have people who write things like yeah my dog does this every time I go to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> no, and and see, I will admit to being wrong about that hot take because we I, I we did some research and we find out that like the more intelligent breed of dogs, they can have the brain capacity of like a two year old, and I believe that a two year old is capable of love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's like yeah. It's like uh, it's like yeah. Because we don't know, and that's kind of why I go back to about the the dog talk. It's like you don't know like how yeah. how developed even the most the smartest dog is. Yeah. Because dogs know? dogs mourn uh, like other dogs in their pack, and they they're pack animals, so they already have kind of like a a dynamic of a family kind of ancillary. Look, I was wrong, but I thought it was funny that I did argue with her about the fact her dog didn't love her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Throw some more jalapenos in the pot, dude. I did. I took I took a little bit of them out, dude. I took the seeds out. All right. Uh, like I threw another jalapeno in, but I cored it first. Yeah. So That's cool. Oregon, Florida. Mm. This happened in Oregon, but Oregon, Florida Oregon, it happened. Florida, my favorite part. Randy Lee Cooper. Randy Lee. He uh twenty seven years old. He decided he needed to go somewhere and he didn't have a car, so he stole a Toyota Land Cruiser. Randy. He is driving around, having the time of his fucking life. <laughs> John Q. Law decides. John Q. Law. <laughs> Don't give them cute names. We're not friends right now. <laughs> <laughs> decides it's time to ruin Randy Lee's fun because he found out it's a stolen vehicle. He oh. goes, poo, 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 turns on the reds and blues, dude. He starts chasing him around the neighborhood. Randy Lee's like, fuck it, dude. You know what? I already stole a car. Let's get an evading. Let's get resisting. Let's get all of it. So they shot him 52 times. <laughs> turns out <laughs> he, turns out it was his car. No. No. Uh, uh, no. Wouldn't be surprised. So he, uh, he's, he's in a high-speed uh, type chase with the, with the law enforcement. And uh, as happens most of the time in those high-speed chases, eventually they wreck into another car. They wreck the car. Damn it, Jonas. Sucks, dude. Randy. He wrecked into a vehicle, uh, Kristen Nicole Bug. <laughs> she was driving a Buick Regal. She was just on Yo, her way. Those are nice cars. Yeah, dude, Sensible. She, she, was, she was out and about enjoying her day. Turns out, her car was stolen too. <laughs> so, wow, so, so it's a sensible car. So, so, I'm not so he, uh, so by him wrecking into her car, oh. they both got arrested, and went to jail for. <laughs> and both of the people's cars who got stolen got wrecked. Right. Damn. Yeah, dude. Damn it, man. What kind of crazy shit is that? I, I could definitely see that happening. That, that's a good story. I like, that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. She's like, and the fucked up part is like, Kristen was probably just like, oh, I'm just out here having fun, whatever. Uh, oh my God, who's this crazy asshole? You know, I wonder if she was pit more pissed that like this asshole hit her or was like, I got, it was like ruined my day because the cops hadn't even found me out yet. Yeah, she was free and clear. That's a, that's a rough neighborhood, Jonas. If, if, right. if, if, couple, if a couple thieves are riding around. In the was, same day on the same block. You know, that's a rough neighborhood, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, you know, it's like, it's like, what are the chances of that happening? That was like the day I told you that, like, I saw a double rainbow outside, sent it to my friend in West Virginia, and she literally sent me a picture back immediately. I have one, too. It, and I was like, we are literally halfway across the goddamn country, and we're both looking at the sky at the same time, and there's double rainbows. At both. I was like... I don't know what the odds of that would be. A lot. <laughs> That's beautiful, John. Yeah, I mean, and I, and that, the stories are relevant. It's just the odds of something like that happening. Yeah, are, yeah, one hundred percent, man. It's crazy. I love I love rainbows too, Jonas. Yeah, dude, I'm a big old rainbow guy. Yeah, we definitely stand with the LGBTQ plus yeah, up in here. Oh, Jonas. dude, I, I love everybody. I don't, I don't care if you what you what you identify as, what you want to be, what you whatever, dude. I love it. You be you. Can, can I be a straight cisgendered male? Yeah, you can be if you want. Thank you, and I'd appreciate if you didn't patronize me about it. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I identify with that as well. Yeah, not on weekends. <laughs> well, today is a Sunday. So. 
So yeah, but I don't know, man. Uh, it's it's just it's just uh, crazy the circumstances about. It's you know I say this a lot with stuff when weird things happen. I'll say things like you couldn't have made that happen if you tried, but like the fact that it happened out of its out of the out of the air is so. It's like I think that's part, something that's part beautiful about life is that the things that you could never try to have happen happen on their own. Yeah, that that's true. I feel like a, a, like a bunch of the lottery, even like lottery winners, are accidental. I heard about a guy who found a lottery ticket that was like two days from expiring. Oh, I, yeah, 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 and, and it was like, like a million dollar winner or something. Yeah, it's like never tell me the odds. Yeah, man, well, like crazy. it's like it's like in basketball when they shoot and it gets stuck in between the rim and the backboard. <laughs> when they shoot and the ball lands and balances on that little lip behind the backboard and the glass. You, that, if you tried to do that a thousand times. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm sure there's probably some guys that are good at it. That happens to everybody, though. So that's not as bad as, like, me running my car into another Well, right, but, vehicle. like, weird things like that. Like, there was, like, when I used to play volleyball before pandemic, there would be – they'd hit the ball, it'd hit the net, and the ball would literally roll down the entire top of the net and then fall <laughs> off on the other side. And I'm like, if you tried to hit the ball and, it, and have it roll down the thin line of the net all the way across it, a thousand times. How many times would that happen? And the fact that it happened in, or it would go up and it would spin on the top of the net and then like fall back on the other. I'm like, you could never do that in a million years if you tried to do it. Definitely. And then it just happens. It's like, what the F, man? Like, it's just weird that stuff like that happens. <laughs> or or like meeting a girl who can treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Like, yeah, that never happens. <laughs> yeah, you know, right? Like, somebody like, who respects <laughs> you, you know, that never happens, right? You know, <laughs> like on that note, <laughs> no, we're gonna talk about pain. no, no, it's just really, it's in, just in general, not, not men or girls. women, but it's like, it's like you, you say, like, I know you said that being facetious, but like, <laughs> they don't respect No, us. not even women or men. Like just in general, it's like, you would think that finding a part, like, if, like you would think in the world of dating, people date all the time <laughs> that like, it would be, it would be fairly easy to find someone else. Who just who just is like an average person who just has like good uh, values and man. respects people nah. and like treats people nice and nah, like bro. but the fact that there's so many trash human beings out there, like in general, it's just like it's crazy. This, this is the lower con lowest common denominator. Because it's like <laughs> There's always going to be, there has to be these people in order for there to be the other side of the bell curve. There's right, right. For, for every person that is giant trash abuser, there is someone who treats their partner better than anyone could have ever expected them to treat someone. I feel like the decent part of the people are in that, that center portion of the bell curve, you know, extended out into the, like into the 40 the, to 60 range. Like the middle, maybe ten to fifteen yeah, percent. But like, you're still you got those two sloping sides, man. People, yeah. So you just, you're gonna run into that, and I think like people with just like unchecked mental issues are are is a big thing too. Yeah, yeah. Like people have un, like anger they haven't dealt with and and rejection and pain, and trauma, and all the yeah, sorts of shit. Especially yeah. on Tinder, man. But you got it. You got. <laughs> you've been through some stuff if you're on that Tinder, <laughs> but. <laughs> Or plenty of fish. Either way, yeah, they've been through some stuff, so they're gonna they're gonna yeah, take it out. It's uh, yeah, it's just important to you know don't uh don't put every person in a in an ex don't put everyone in a bucket that one person caused you to feel about. You know that is very true because that's what causes all these connotations and stuff that makes it impossible to like find someone that actually does. Yeah. You, you really can't control the way that other people are going to react or how they're going to act towards you anyway. So you can only control the way you can react towards them. Yep. And best thing you can do is if you don't like it, you can not have them in your life anymore. <laughs> Yep. That's the scary part. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> that is all the time we have forever for the Crazy Town Podcast. Well, Last episode at joke. Uh, but no, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, this guy, he's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Central AM. That's TNT Dino on my GHT underscore Crazy Town. <gasps> Come and hang out with your boy live. <laughs> uh, for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are uh, out. Boy.